Hello and welcome. I'm Fantley Saintly, and this is the Taskmaster House. This is Taskmaster VR. And if you've been uh, following the channel, you know I've done a quick review and a quick first look at the game to get you an idea of basically how it plays and what's involved. But this time, I wanted to do a full playthrough. So what I'll be doing is doing episode one from the start in this video, and I'll be doing episode two in the next video and so on. So if you're wary of spoilers, or just wanna see how the game plays without giving away all of the tasks and surprises, you can watch as much or a little as you want. So that's it for me, let's get stuck in. Okay, here we go. I'm famous. Little Alex Horn himself. Greg What's wrong with my hands? Oh no. To Taskmaster, where I'll hide those. Must be completed, otherwise I get very grumpy indeed. And you're the one charged with jumping through hoops on my behalf. Points are available based on your performance and nothing shy of people in the crowd watching will allow you to fondle this, my resplendent metal face. And all the while, sitting to my left, is a man who will wipe away any sweat that might accrue on my magnificent brow. It's a little Alex Horn. He said the line. Thank you. I'm the Taskmaster's assistant. I will be present for all tasks, taking measurements and doing admin, scattergrams, pie charts, all the fun stuff. I also provide sparkling banter at the top of each episode. Do you want to do mm. the banter now, Taskmaster, for the banter section? Do I want to? No, I do not. Are you sure? I've got some quality cheeky bant ready to whip out. Uh, go on then. Well, you've already had it. That was that was the banter when I said cheeky bants like a youth. Hilarious. Well done. Never talk Never again. Talk. Enough nonsense talking. <laughs> More tasks. And now a task where I get to be pampered for a change. Nice little intro, just like the show. Chimp's first day at the deli shop. Hello, Alex. Can I have this? Can I can I steal this? There's nothing even on there. Anyway, this is the Taskmaster Kitchen, which you'll recognise if you've watched the show. Pretty faithfully remade, from what I can tell. And plenty of uh, interactive objects. To task card reading, please. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Alex. I'm sorry. Else until that's done. Okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. Make a sandwich for Alex using only the spatulas. Serve it on the silver tray with the correct plate and ring the bell when you're finished. The bell will become active after two minutes. The task will start when you're holding a spatula in each hand. Okay, so Alex will tell me what kind of sandwich he wants. And using nothing but these two spatulas, mm. I have to make it. I think I will have. He will have a square blue plate cheese, waffle, a cooked egg, and cooked meat, Ooh, and what is that? Really fancy a... What was that? I'll have to have a look. So there's a square plate around here somewhere apparently. That's weird. Last time I did this one it was uh, this plate here which was easy to find. Well, let's have a look around. Here's all the food and other goodies. Whoa, had a bit of a physics explosion there. There's a hidden duck in there. Um, I think I need this waffle. No, that's not waffle. That's a waffle. So careful with the spatulas. Oops, oops. Oh, I need that cheese anyway, so that's good. Cheese, put that on the waffle, pick them both up. Ah, oh, okay, well they're out anyway. What else do they need? They needed an egg and a piece of ham and oh, is this like Christmas cake or something, is it? Christmas pudding, possibly. I'm not quite sure. I'll get that as well. And there was an egg, All right? And the ham. Whatever meat this is, Ugh, I think it was that one. Ooh, I really fancy a... 
So where's this plate of yours, Alex? Aha. In the cupboard, who'd have thought? Hopefully I can't break it and fail. Steady. Steady. Got the plate. Now, I can't have a sandwich without bread. And if you watched my review, we learned something last time, and that is don't grab the end pieces or Greg will call you a psychopath. So I'm just gonna shuffle some bread out of here. Oops. There we go. I should watch this. Blue plate. Cheese next. Waffle. Cooked egg. Cooked steak. Cooked whatever that is. What is it? Is it a Christmas pudding? I don't know. So I need to grab the pan. Lock that there and turn it on. And before that happens, I'm going to put this cheese, if I can pick it up. I oh, know. Come on. There we are. Cheese on the bread. Waffle on the cheese. Go again. Plate, cheese, waffle, cooked egg, cooked steak, cooked pudding cake. Okay, cooked egg, 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 here. Well, this will be fun. Careful. Careful. Oh no. Oh, can I save it? There we go. Don't tell Alex that it was on the floor. Uh, how do you know when it's done? I guess when it's not see-through. I just hope I can't burn it. It looks like a cooked egg, doesn't it? Uh oh. It's flinging hot burning oil everywhere as I go. That's fine. We'll do the steak next. Oops. There we are. Oh yes, you can see it cooking. Very nice. He likes it medium rare, might leave it at that. Does that look cooked, you reckon, or? What do you reckon, Alex? Is your sandwich? I think that might do. And this thing. If I can pick it up. There we go. There we go. Slowly cooking. Won't be long, Alex. Considering the amount of physics uh, interactions that's going on, I <laughs> spoke too soon. I was about to say, oh, it's amazing how stable it is. It was before I launched a, a pan of burning oil all over Alex. Sorry, mate. And bread on top. Now that's a sandwich, right? Ooh, really fancy a... Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Good. Thank you. You're welcome.
Now let's see uh, how they want to judge this one. You know, when the Earl of Sandwich first invented a sandwich back in 16... Uh, 1762. 1762, thank you, you irritating little nerd. <laughs> when the Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich... I love how much bigger they've made Greg compared to Alex in this. They've really, ready creation was reap upon really had their fun with it. You, Alex. I will say, normally when Alex has to eat things in these tasks, I'm relieved that it's not me doing it. But I'm genuinely irritated that I didn't get any of that delicious sandwich. Oh, thank you. Considering the ingredients, it was very enjoyable. Okay. How many points for a long distance sandwich? It's absolutely bang on. Can't fault it. Five points. Yes. That's what we like to see. Thank you. Okay. What's next? Time for the next task. Away we go. Now this is quite a fun one. You do have to use, you have to think about this one a little bit. It's more of a puzzle, um, but I have done it before, but I'll try not to let that ruin the experience. So as you can see, we've got a safe here, a combination here as well, some scales, a whole lot of uh, hints or distractions. A map of the courtyard of the Taskmaster house. Please don't touch anything until you've finished reading the task. And this stitched melon, so. Oh, a blank task. Let's start with this one, shall we? Look for clues to escape the garage. Find the can of dog food and put it in the dog bowl. You have 15 minutes, your time starts start now. Okay, uh, so we'll look around for clues to escape and don't be afraid to get messy. Get messy, so he's uh, <laughs> wanting me to smash a melon. So the taskmaster's second favorite fruit. Do not eat any of the watermelon. <laughs> don't eat it. Okay. Another task. The weight of the watermelon is the combination to the safe. Lucky there's a scale right here. Okay, 1410. Beautiful. We have a light bulb, which will go in the lamp. And of course that is a black light. So we're gonna see here, there's something in this room, there's something in the, what is that, the stage? and something just outside the garage, which is where we are. You'll also notice <laughs> Greg and Alex, and also this task has come to life now. The code for the treasure chest is written on the skin of the watermelon. And that's what we can see here. 4198. 419. Eight. Open. And the door remote. <laughs> and here's Alex and a bath of watermelons. Ah, you made it out. Well I did. Done. Now, just find the dog food and the bowl and put one in the other. The can of dog food is in a melon. So remember we had these hints here. So we're here, there's something on the stage or something in this back room. So I'm gonna go for a little stroll before I start. Oops, I smushed a melon. There's the pineapple. The classic uh, Taskmaster yard here, got the caravan over there, the cow. What's on this stage? More melons. There's the dog bowl. It kind of go inside. Surely I can, there was a a hint inside, wasn't there? I love this room. God, they've done such a good job just recreating everything in task we trust. 
All right, so where, where are we here? Is it the lab, this room? <laughs> okay, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we're in the lab. I haven't been here before, even though I've already played this episode. I didn't have to come inside. Guessing this one <laughs> has, yep, the one with stitches on it. Who'd have thought, eh? All right, so we'll rush back out. I'd love to spend more time exploring this house a bit later. But we're on the clock here. Need to find, there it is. Oh no, I dropped the can. Okay, let's go. Ah, there's the dog food. Stop the clock. Thank you, Alex. Can't get over how good a job they've done with this. Even the weather vane is true to the show. <laughs> Hello, adoring crowd. Very impressive run, right? Yes, astonishingly quick. One of the fastest we've ever seen solving watermelon-based puzzles. Ooh. Some people just can't resist smashing themselves some watermelon, eh? Lovely job. Picked the right watermelon quite quickly. Yes, there were lots of melons there, but they were pretty shrewd about finding the correct one. You mean lucky, right? Yes, pure chance. Uh, yeah. Score it. Was that a easy, dig right? because I played it before? They found the dog food or they didn't. Five points. Five oh. full points for finding the dog food. Wonderful. Good start. That's the location tasks out of the way. And now, as is tradition, we do another task right here in front of a clammy, clambering audience. So please, head to the stage for the final task of the show. Let's do it. A studio task is identical to a house-based one. Read and understand the task on the card. Drop the card. Do the task. Good luck. Easy. This looks like a rip roaring roller coaster of a task, Alex. Melons and skittles. I love this big Greg Ooh, head. Feel the rush. A skittle, of course, is British for bowling pin. I think we know, Alex. Thank you. Get as much melon on the circle as possible without hitting the skittles. The task ends when all 10 melons are thrown or when all skittles are knocked over. Your time starts. So, now. you need to throw the melons down onto that red circle down there. Once you've thrown all ten melons... The cameras are kind of creepy, okay. pointing at me and looking at different things. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Yeah. Not good. Not good. No, Greg's unhappy. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that was a good one. Knocked over half the skittles, but hey. Right on the skittle. Oh, no. You like your messy tasks, don't you, Alex? Yes, I'm a mucky little pup. He is a mucky little pup. Oh, dear. More melon for me to clean up. Sorry, mate. Oh, barely any stayed on. Just doing my best not to knock over those last skittles. I want to end this early. Ah. Seven melons. I can't believe how genuinely tense this is. You're telling me. I think I did better on my first attempt. I actually had some whole melons on there in the end. Oh, no. That Pressure's getting to me. Oh, none of it's staying on. Alex, I'm surprised you didn't try a sneaky little trick. Like painting a bowling ball to look like a watermelon or something. I tried that, but the finger holes gave it away. That was better. Is right. that it? Join us down here for the score. Ooh, don't think that'll be five points, that's for sure. Tense, eh? Not bad. I sure see was. Plenty of melon on the little red circle. 
Not bad indeed. A strong performance. Oh, thank you. Strong performance, but still, at the same time, a little bit rubbish, yeah? A little bit. That's fair. Yes. So, fair. how do you want to score this, Greg? I could have done better. You would have done worse. So let's say three points. Okay, three I'll take points. it. Not a bad score in the end. So where does that put us with the episode score? It's a baker's 13, 13 points. We've learned that if you want to find out the true measure of a person, hide a can of dog food into a watermelon and just let them go to town on it. Thank you for playing and goodbye. Okay, and that's the end of episode one. As I mentioned at the start of the episode, I'll be doing these episode by episode. So there'll be a new video with episode two coming very shortly. So if you'd like to see that, and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I cover VR games, I cover indie games, and all sorts of different things. Also, if you have any game suggestions you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.